Hi guys, I'm Joel Reedus with the Texas A&M AgriLife Extension Service. Today I want to share one of my go-to cold weather recipes, chicken vegetable soup. It's healthy, it's very economical, and it's a great way to use up spare vegetables that might otherwise get thrown in the trash. Now really this is more of an idea than a recipe that you have to adhere to strictly. I really encourage you to make it your own based on what your family likes and what you have on hand. No matter what tweaks you make, it's going to be way better than anything you get out of a can. Be sure to check out the link below for a simple formula on making your own soup recipes. When making soup, I like to start by getting all my vegetables washed at one time. If I don't already have cooked chicken, I'll usually boil frozen chicken breast while I'm prepping my vegetables. There's a link below for tips and a video on boiling chicken if you're not sure what to do. Like most soups I make, today I'm starting with some aromatic vegetables and a couple tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. I have one onion, three carrots, and two stalks of celery, all chopped to roughly the same size. I'll saute this for about five minutes, stirring frequently until the vegetables are slightly softened. Then I'll add four cloves of minced garlic. We love garlic at my house, but you might choose to use a little less. That's totally fine. I'll continue cooking for just another minute or so until the garlic gets good and aromatic. If we overcook the garlic, it can get bitter and lose the desired flavor. Now I'll add in four cups of low sodium chicken broth an additional four cups of water, and two cups of cooked shredded chicken. For extra flavor, I'm using the water left over from boiling my chicken. We'll also be adding in more vegetables and a few seasonings. I have four small potatoes, which I prefer to leave the peel on, and one red bell pepper chopped, which I think adds great flavor and some really nice color to the soup. For our spices, I have half a teaspoon of seasoning salt, about a teaspoon of ground black pepper, and one teaspoon of dried thyme. We're going to bring this to a boil and then reduce it down to a strong simmer. After 20 minutes, we'll add in a half a head of green cabbage, which I coarsely chopped. We'll let this simmer for another 15 or 20 minutes or until the vegetables are at the desired tenderness. And that's all there is to it. You might choose to add additional seasoning to taste or garnish with chives, parsley, or other fresh herbs if available. Whatever adjustments you make to this recipe, I hope this helps you get in the kitchen making some healthy, delicious soup this winter for your family to enjoy. For more tips and plenty of quick, healthy recipes, visit dinnertonight.tamu.edu.